Hi guys, don't welcome back to the channel. This is your NXT review right here. This is your boy BP, this is your boy Skippy right here. Uh man, uh I I'm gonna tell you this. Uh we we are hearing six thousand difference in viewers. AEW won again this week. It doesn't matter. It's like Skippy said to me, I, I like both of them. They're both equal to me. Uh but anyway, we're gonna get right down to it. NXT starting off with Killian Dane going one on one with Mr. Pete Dunn. Awesome, fantastic match, man. Uh, three and a half stars for me. Uh, I was really surprised Killian Dane's picked up the win here, dude, against Pete Dunne. I think he needed the win, honestly. Pete Dunne, I don't think Pete Dunne really needed the win because he's already, you know, he's he's already, uh, he's, he's Pete Dunne. So, he, you know, he's already established himself. Uh, but, yeah, I think you're right. I think Killian Dane did need the win this time, man. Yeah. But it was, I mean, it was, it was a great match. It was a good match. I'll give it three and a half, too. Yeah, it was a good match. Uh, but anyway, other than that, we're going to get right down into the uh, next one. Undisputed Eric, don't even do it, cat. <laughs> Undisputed yeah. Eric comes out, uh, and they're talking this mad mess, man, about Mr. Keith Lee. And Keith Lee, man, he's picking up some stamina, man. He's picking up a lot of fans. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you what, this guy right here is picking up uh, some steam. I had one of his biggest fans right now was actually Benjamin, man. Oh, man. Uh, this dude... Uh, is very very popular now with the fan, NXT fans. Not only that, uh, he's actually really popular with the main roster fans. If you want to go oh, there yeah. too. So, but anyway, Keith Lee, a cat, yeah, he's a cat. <laughs> Sorry that. Keith Lee comes out and uh, he uh, gets in the, their face, undisputed era's face, and uh, man, just talking some mad mess. They're gonna ever go at it, man. And, uh, I'm telling you, Keith Lee tries to put them all out. He's, he's, uh, he's doing a number on them to be there. They end up getting the better of them. And that's when uh, a uh, Tommaso Ciampa and them come out, or Tommaso Ciampa came out for the save is what happened yeah. there. So that's what happened in that little bit area. Next up, uh, we had a match between two girls, Zia Lee, going one-on-one -on -one with the women's champion, man, Shayna Baszler. Holy crap. Uh, I gave this match two stars. Oh, I thought it was a great match. Zia Lee really took it to Shanna, but Shanna, uh, it was just too much yeah. for basically anybody on that roster except for Rhea Ripley. Pretty much. I'm thinking. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Yeah, I'd give it two and a half. I thought it could have been better. It could have been. Right? I love Shanna, so that's, that's probably yeah. why I'm giving it as good as it is. Right. Uh, next up, man, uh, Forgotten Sons, man, are taking their rightful place, but I don't know who the hell these clowns are they took on. Evolve was the name of the team. Uh, I give this match two stars only because it is Forgotten Sons, and Forgotten Sons actually won a match. So there you go. Yeah, I give it nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Riker looks pretty awesome and stuff, but like, yeah, they need like a competitive match to show off their ability, not, not I think, squashes against nobody. Yeah, I mean, I think when they went against like uh, the Street Profits and shit like that, I thought uh, Street Profits brought up uh, some. Uh, you know, some good energy yeah. from these guys. Yeah, these guys are yeah. talented, but right now, I think just creatively, they're kind of in a stale place. Do all do others. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, man, uh, I'm telling you what, man, uh, Dakota Kai, uh, I'm liking this heel change, dude. I really do. Fantastic. She comes out again with Tegan Knox's uh, knee brace, and she's getting ready to go one-on-one -on -one with my girl, Miss Rhea Ripley here. And, uh, Ripley has a little bit of a surprise for her. Yeah. Uh, Mia Yim comes out. And uh, Mia Yim just laid an ass whooping on Dakota Kai. But I'm telling you what, Dakota Kai fought back, man. She was giving her uh, a run for her money. But uh, hey, man, Dakota Kai just wasn't, I mean, wasn't uh, I mean, Mia Yim just overtook her, was beating her ass. They fought backstage. They left Rhea Ripley in the ring by herself. Mm -hmm. And the four horsewomen women came out. All three. All three of them. Well, three of the four horsewomen came out, yeah. Because, you know, Ronda's still not here. But, uh, yeah, and they end up, uh, Shannon Baszler ends up putting Rhea Ripley to sleep because it took all three of them to beat down Miss Rhea, Rhea Ripley. And uh, Shannon Baszler and Justin Duke held her. Yeah. Why, uh, Shannon grabbed her and choked her out. Man. Yeah. So, I guess <laughs> they're really, uh, building. Rhea Ripley to be a badass. I oh, mean, I'm telling she, you. she is. Don't get me yeah. wrong. But um, man, I, I think she might be uh, dethroning Shayna here soon. And as a matter of fact, I think that's coming up in two weeks. December 18th. December 18th, yes, sir. 
that's going to be a, a that's going to be a good match. I think uh, can Rhea Ripley do it, man? We're going to find out. We might have new NXT Women's Champion for too long. I think it's about to do. And the you way think? that they built up Shay, uh, Rhea the last couple of weeks, especially at uh, War Games and and take uh, not War Games, uh, Survivor Series. Right. Yeah. Um, well, Shayna do both of them did their job at Survivor Series. Well, yeah, they were both great. Oh uh, man, this but, but it's gonna be a really yeah. good match. Yeah, you're yeah. right, dude. Well, Rhea, you know, helped her team win from two versus four. That was the most Absolutely. impressive thing I've, I've oh, seen. Oh yeah, it was. It was. I agree with that. Uh, man, this is gonna be one hard hitting uh, match right here. The DC women are gonna go at it. Uh, what more can you say, man? Rhea is uh, maybe she's going to dethrone. Uh, Shayna. I'm hearing Shayna might end up going to either SmackDown or Raw. I don't know. Yeah, I'm hearing something like that too. I think they're wanting uh, Becky Lynch, Shayna, uh, match at WrestleMania. But, okay, uh, uh, I'm hearing rumors of Ronda Rousey and Royal Rumble. That could be coming back too. So, you know, I don't know. We're going to have to see, find out what goes on. Uh, there's other rumors that I want to talk about, but we're going to get that in a minute. Uh, next up, uh, we had, <laughs> dude, Cash is on it, really? What I is like he him. doing? I, I, dude, I love Cash is on it. He went from NXT to NXT UK. <laughs> he calls himself the best British wrestler. He's not even British, no, dude. He's not. <laughs> a wrestling genius. He's actually here from Canton, Ohio. Yeah. And, uh, man, he, the, and he's funny. And, of course, uh, yeah, he calls himself the wrestling genius now. Yeah, I never understood why he went to the UK. Maybe just, you know, to help. Build that up a little yeah because he he wants to be known as the best british wrestler in the world and he's not even british but that's what makes us so funny and great yeah. i think uh he took on again uh, another great nxt superstar for the fourth time and again he lost mr matt riddle took him out i get this match three stars it, but it was a really great match castles only actually gave matt riddle a run for his money this time yeah. instead of losing in eight seconds you know, with a big knee. This is an entertaining match. I give it three and a half, I would say. Okay, well. Um, one thing that I, I believe this is a tie-in, like uh, Cash Zona was saying, to the Worlds Collide event that's coming up soon. Yeah, and that's going to be interesting to see what happens there. Uh, I think it's, I think it's only between NXT and NXT UK is that event, is what they're saying. Yeah, uh, it used to be Smack 205 Live, but... Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think SmackDown and Raw is going to be involved in this this time, like they were last time, and plus, like you said, 205 Live. So... Uh, I think this is only going to be NXT UK, and NXT is going to go at it, kind of like how Raw and you know, SmackDown yeah. does on the, but whatever. Uh, next up, we have a returning Kushida. Uh, he's supposed to go one on one against uh, what the heck was his name, Mendoza, and uh, I mean out comes Mendoza, and of course from behind, Cameron Grimes took him out, wiped him out. So they made a match between Cameron Grimes and Kushida here. I gave this match three stars because she didn't win this match, but barely. Because Cameron Grimes, I'm telling you what, he's a true badass dude. I'm telling you this dude. Yeah, these are two talented guys right here. Really, really true uh, talented guys. I felt like the match could have been better, so I'll give it three as well, though. But. Yeah. Yeah, other than that, man, uh, yeah, that was a great match. Cameron Grimes took it to Kushida. Kushida was just a little bit too much for Cameron at this time. Maybe next time. I don't know. Next up is your main event, six-man tag match. You have the Undisputed Era, all three members, because, of course, Fish is out again from uh, what, concussion. concussion, they said. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so you have Roderick Strong carrying around two titles <laughs> for the time being, which is, I love Undisputed Era. They're just funny. Uh, and, of course, their uh, opponents here is Mr. Keith Lee, my boy Donovic Dijakovic, Mouthful. No, yeah, <laughs> tell me about it. And your boy, Mr. Tommaso Champa, man. Yeah, what a man. great, great match. Five stars. I loved it, man. I didn't give a shit who won this match. I like all six of these gentlemen. But uh, ends up being Mr. Keith Lee, Donovan, and uh, Tommaso ended up winning this match. What did you think about it, man? This yeah, man it was a four and a half star to me, I think. I'm yeah. not quite ready to give it five. Um, I gotta say, that my favorite part was uh, when Finn Balor was in the corner lining up, and the camera angle was perfect. I mean, this was great production. All of a sudden, you see Keith Lee rise up next to him, and the fear that, that Finn Balor had, and 
That's, that's, that's what happened after this match was over with. Finn Balor came out. Actually, I think he, they probably caused a disqualification. I don't know what happened with that. But anyway, yeah, Keith Lee ended up grabbing Finn Balor. I think Balor. the ref was knocked out or I think that's what it was, right. And Finn Balor came out and made himself... Yeah, known big time. Yeah. So, uh, and uh, I'm telling you what, he's not friends with Undisputed Era. So Finn Balor is like all by himself in the class of his own. You can't tell... I mean, he's like a hill, but he's not a hill because... I don't know. He's more like a stone cold type dude right now. Yeah. Because uh, he's like in the middle. He don't give a shit about faces or heels. All he, he wants is the belt. He, yeah. So there you go, basically. The longest reigning NXT champion wants his belt back. Yeah, that's it. Uh, next week, man, you got a triple threat match. That's going to be pretty interesting. Lee, Ciampa, and Balor for a number one contendership. And whoever wins this match is going to be going after you, Mr. Boom. Adam Cole, baby. So, let me tell you this. And I think this is part of why NXT is better than Raw and SmackDown. You have a loaded title picture. Oh, you man, have Keith fantastic. Lee, Ciampa, Balor, I mean, Pete Dillon. You have a lot of guys throwing their name in, in half yeah. of this. Oh, my God. And, yeah, like, really well, and then if you look at the women's, the women's division is the same way. You got Rhea Ripley, Bianca Belair, Io Shirai. They're totally loaded for the title pictures. Man, I'm telling you, right. And uh, yeah, in, in NXT, uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, you know how you got the main roster, you got SmackDown, you got the Raw women, uh, you got you got them separated there, you know. So you got good women on Raw, good women on SmackDown. They really don't fight now, unless it's going to be like the Survivor Series or uh, you know something like that. Yeah. NXT, I mean, NXT has got all great women, dude. Ready to. They're hungry. They're running. Look at it right now. There's nobody lined up for Brock Lesnar yet. No, not absolutely not. There's nobody really lined up for the Fiend yet. We've heard the Miz. I that was a rumor. Um, but no. you know the title pictures on Raw and SmackDown are just totally non-existent. No. Uh, Becky Lynch, who's your who's your next opponent? Who's Bailey's next opponent? We don't know. No woman are stepping up and and, and making a name you know what? Uh, tables, ladders, and chairs. It's in a couple weeks. Yeah, so TLC is coming up, and they there's no one, none of these champions got a bonus yet. Yeah. You know, they should be building up guys like Kevin Owens. I mean, honestly, I, I can't imagine Kevin Owens beating Brock Lesnar right now. But yeah. build these guys up. Yeah, I, I totally agree with that, yeah. Uh, they're not building anybody up. To, to come with that, uh, the rumor I was talking about, it was confirmed, Mr. John Morrison is on his way back to the main roster of the WWE. It might not be main roster. It might be NXT. I don't know. But we're going to find out next week because evidently next week he's supposed to debut back in the WWE, whether it be Raw, whether it be NXT, or SmackDown. I don't know. Wouldn't that be funny if he showed up on NXT UK? I'm going to be Maybe honest with you. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. But if I'm him, I'm going to NXT. That's the best chance to shine. Yeah, but that's not the only part of the story that's interesting here. Uh, coming up on Impact is their last pay-per-view. Uh, of uh, I think the year, Miss Taya Valkyrie has her women's title match, and I think it's gonna be her last match with Impact. So she, I think she's gonna end up losing that belt. And I'm thinking, man, that uh, WWE is looking to sign Miss Taya, whether it be to NXT, which I think would be fantastic for her to just go to NXT and throw in another woman. But you know, if they're throwing John Morrison into the main roster Raw or SmackDown, you can almost guarantee wherever John Morrison lands. Ty is going to be right there on the same fucking brand, I guarantee it. Yeah. Because, you know, Becky and uh, Seth, uh, you know, Zelina and Alistair, Charlotte and uh, Andrade. Yeah. You know. Wherever they go, they're together. They're, they're going to be together. Yeah. So, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, and, and I think, honestly, there needs to be some call-ups from NXT to, to Raw and SmackDown. They don't. Get, dude, it's funny about that because NXT stars don't want to go. Tommaso Ciampa. Is known he he said this. I I seen it on Twitter. He said, "I will retire before I go to Raw or SmackDown the main roster." So evidently, Tommaso Ciampa wants to be NXT all the way through. It's funny the situation where when NXT was developmental and now it's a brand, an equal brand. I exactly. would say, exactly. But yet, Raw and SmackDown really need some talent. So what do you do? You, what do you do? Do you make trades? Do you just sign from NXT? Like, how does that work now that it's a brand? What's going to be interesting is the draft now. Because I'm telling you what, if 
XT is a brand, which it is because now because of Survivor Series, uh, are they going to trade Raw people to NXT, NXT to SmackDown? Are they, you know, is it going to go back and forth? You know, and I've is heard, UK going to be involved in this because of uh, Imperium? You know, I don't know. I've heard the rumor that Vince really wants uh, Keith Lee to be a mate, a monster heel on Raw and SmackDown. So how are they going to get there? Yeah, I don't know, <clears throat> but it's going to be pretty interesting. Because I guarantee you, Triple H is not giving up his baby. He's not giving up NXT. So uh, that's it. And I, I hope he doesn't because he's the only one, I think, with his tutelage and his knowledge, is the only one to make NXT better than the main roster right now. Because Vince needs to go. As soon as Vince goes and Triple H takes over the whole WWE, you can watch and see what happens then. There's going to be a whole new, there's going to be a whole new ball game. WWE is going to be fucking fantastic, dude. I yeah. guarantee it. If it's in anything like NXT, holy shit. With all these people, all these girls, and all these guys, it's gonna be amazing, dude. Uh, yeah. One other thing, and this is WWE in general. Why is the women's tag division so shitty? Like, why aren't we seeing more of the iconics, Fire and Desire? I think I mentioned this last year. Uh, but it's still bugging me. Yeah, it bugs me too. I think they should uh, bring them back. Uh, you know, Nikki and uh, Alexa. Instead, you got your tag team champions feuding with Charlotte. Yeah, Nia is a. Uh, Suppose out with a double knee injury. She's healing from that. She had surgery. You know, there's not really, like you said, there's really not, yeah. Charlotte is fighting the tag, the woman tag team champions and taking it to them by herself. Yeah. Even though she did lose, but barely. You know, holy crap. But, uh, yeah, you're totally right. I agree with that, man. They need to step up their, uh, somebody needs to do something with that women's division. Somebody really does. Yeah. Who's in charge over there? The one division is it? Uh, Sarah, what's her name? She's uh, one of the PC coaches. I don't Sarah know. Sarah Marlowe. I, I don't know what her Marlo. name is. Is it her? Is it Stephanie? Or is it uh, the guy? The, the on the, the dude on Total Divas. Mark Carano. Mark Carano. Is he the one in charge of these women? I think so. so. See, something has to happen there. So he needs to wake up and get his head out of his ass and do something with these women and tell Vince, look. Give me some spots for my women. Shut the fuck up. They need to You're fire these writers or get better creative. Because right now that's where the problem is. The creative is so shitty. Tell you what's uh, shitty is uh, Vince McMahon and Kevin Dunn's fucking stupid bullshit they got going on. They both need to fucking retire, if you know what I mean. Speaking of writers, uh, did you see Big Dick Johnson is back on the writing team? <laughs> because I don't know who he is back in the day, DX and him, uh, him man. I don't know his real name. I always knew him by Big, Big D. D. Johnson. Yeah, it was funny. I don't know his real name in there. But fantastic, man. Great. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that was your NXT review, guys. So Great show. Yeah, it was a great show. I loved it. Uh, even though they were 6,000 viewers away from AEW this time, like we said earlier at the beginning of the show. But it doesn't matter to me. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks a lot for joining us here for this uh, show for NXT. For your boy Skippy here and BP. I want you to like, comment, share, subscribe, and always hit that post notification button up there, that little bell button, so you can get all our content. And uh, please comment on anything, and we'll get right back to you, whether it be to him or to me, we'll get back to you. And thanks a lot, so we'll see you right back here next time, you guys, right here on, on the corner. Oh, awesome. All right, time to fart. Oh.